Hi, I'm Eric Vandepfeiffer. And I'm David Sackrider. We're from Montrose Hill McCoy High School and MDMTV.com. We hope you enjoy our highlight reel. The New Lowfield crowd is getting loud. This is a big play for their defense. Third down and 19. Ugly might have just shot themselves in the foot. My check under center. Looks to pass. Evades some pressure. Here's one out over the middle. Caught by Brandle. Inside the 20, inside the 10. Touchdown, Ugly. And as if this game couldn't get any crazier. We just saw Ugly throw a pass, something they haven't been successful with very much at all. Archmeyer airs it out to the far side. Intercepted by who else, David, but Jonathan Brandle. He's had an exceptional game today. Not the player we thought we were going to be looking out for for Ugly, but man, has he stepped it up today. Great job. They go hand off again up the middle with Demir. Demir breaks a couple of tacklers. First class tire touchdown, Montrose. There you have it. Montrose run game is really extremely strong. They're going to use it to an effect here. And when you just go for big play after big play after big play, eventually it's going to result in a touchdown. With Thompson, quarterback keeper, finds a hole. Thompson with a big one across the 30, across the 40. Brought down inside the 40 yard line in Lanesburg territory by number two, Avery Alana. But Thompson gets all the way down to the 37 yard line. We said during our pregame that Lanesburg's gonna need to try to make some stops and stretch out their offense. Well, that's not what they needed right there. In the backfield, same formation. Again, Vandergrown and touchdown. First class tire touchdown, Montrose. David, they ran the same play three times and Lanesburg wasn't able to stop it. Don't know as if I can blame Lanesburg there. It's a bit of a surprise play, but you know, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Now there's a ball in the box. Emma Guype sends it back to Hobson. She'll play it outside to Wing. Wing shot on net, good! Amber Wing opens up scoring for Montrose. One in the semifinal to Ithaca, the Yellow Jackets. There's a small rivalry that Bill was built there. Now through ball for Renshaw. One time, goal! Paige Renshaw puts the second one on for Montrose. Two nothing, four minutes into the second half. Us inside, Hobson unable to put a good foot on it, but Wings comes in to chase it down. Now she puts another one back inside. Ball in front of the net, goal! Ellery Barnett, the one time off the defender. 3 0 Montrose. And if you're Montrose, David, this game's almost pretty much out of reach, but at least try and score as many points as you can. If you're Coach Smith, you just keep feeding the hot hand, Maddie Rich. Yeah, I would. She's really been the only one who's getting stuff to go for uh, Montrose, so. Try to get as many points on the board as possible. Long spin move. Now he pulls it back out. Hall, corner, three in front of the student section. Drills it. All the three in the corner. Back to back from the same spot. Give the assist Austin Gross that time. Corner, Valley thought about the three. Two steps, scoop and score, Jay Valley. Back here in Montrose. 2-0 to the count. Bases are full. Two outs. 3-3 three, three, tie. Gross fires one back up the middle. French is in to score. Polinski's round in third. Fanner grounded on his way to third. He's going to stay there. Gross is at first. Runners on the corners. Two runs coming to score. Bouncer down the third baseline. Reinhardt unable to make a play. Run comes in. Once again, I'm Eric Vandepfeiffer. And I'm David Sackrider. Thanks for watching our highlight tape and hope to hear from you guys soon.